Hi everyone, this is Monica with Bernstein Creations doing a quick start to finish video on an altered Pringles can I did for a group I'm in called Scrapping Sisters. So right here is my Pringles can and I'm getting my burlap and measuring out to see how much I'm going to need. And I'm just eyeballing, I'm not really measuring at all. I'm going to fix up the edges. Double checking and making sure it's the right size and how much I can cut off. And as you can see right here, you can see the green and the Pringles label through the burlap. So I'm getting white acrylic paint to paint over it. And I just put my paint in these Dixie cups that you get um, at Walmart. I'm just using a regular um, paintbrush. Making sure my paintbrush is, is dry. So I'm currently painting this right now um, with acrylic paint and I'm realizing if you can see it doesn't, it's not really sticking to the uh, Pringles can because of the um, shiny coat that it has. Um, as you can see the little spots just kind of move away. Um, I end up getting gesso and gessoing my, um, the can and that actually worked very well. And that's where I went right now to go get it and that's where I pulled out some more some gesso right there. I'm going to wipe off the acrylic paint base that I have have on right there. And that seemed to really work. And this doesn't need to be perfect um, just because you're not going to be seeing it from from behind the burlap I just wanted to make sure that green and the Pringles label wasn't showing through so I just put a thick coat And I'm wiping the metal edges off. If it dries on, it's still very easy to peel off with your nail or a dry paper towel. Just be careful when using um, a baby wipe or a towel because I um, smeared the edges of it. So I just had to repaint over it. I'm getting my heat tool. I'm very impatient so I wasn't really wanting to wait for this to dry. I realized I probably needed one more um, coat. You can kind of still see the green. This was a really fun project to do and it was really easy. I was thinking it was going to take a while but I maybe spent an hour and a half on this and most of it was just because of having to dry the gesso paint
like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. No one's going to see it through the, through the burlap. So I'm using my heat gun again, um, just kind of kickstarting the drying process. I end up setting this aside and um, I'll start working on on getting my burlap um, sized. And there's a part where I... Um, when I was letting this dry, I was doing the lid, which I didn't add in the video, um, just because it was, it was long, um, but all I did was I just got a sheet of cardstock, uh, measured out the circle, and, um, used, uh, glossy accents to adhere it to the, the top. And I touched the, um, touched the Pringles can trying to see if it was dry and it definitely wasn't. So I ended up having to redo a whole nother coat on to fix the, that mistake. This is when I decided that I'm just going to let it sit and dry. Because heat drying it was only taking longer because I kept touching it. So what I'll do is I will, when it gets to the burlap and adding it on, I will, um, which is right here, I use, um, I want to, it's Beacon Fabri-Tac, and this stuff really holds well, and I, it, it's amazing. Um, and that's what I use to adhere it to my, um, to my can. And it dries clear. You, you can't even see it. It's pretty amazing stuff. I also use the, um, they have Beacon 3-in-1. And that's what um, the adhesive I use for my mini albums. So right here I'm just prepping my um, burlap. After I glue it down, I pretty much um, just embellish it in no specific order. I use Prima Flowers. Um, the colorful Prima Flowers are like um, a blue. There was um, some red. And the brown flowers I use, I'm not sure what brand those are. Um, I got them at a garage sale. So um, a lady was selling a lot of her scrapbooking stuff. And so I scored those. So I'm not sure what the um what the brown flowers are um, I added some lace along with um some pearls I also used um Jenny um the admin for Scrapping Sisters she sent me a little pen pal um 
goodie box and I use a couple things from her. She made these bead sprays which I absolutely love um, and I use that in my project um, you'll see later on. Right here I'm just trimming up the edges, getting it all even. Making sure it's all adhered down. Really quick and easy and the fabric tack um dries clear. And right here I'm just getting all my embellishments out. Um I have like two big boxes just filled of all kinds of embellishments, like chipboards, um, thread, just twine, everything you can think of or is in these boxes. Um, so I'm just pulling out, seeing what will be good. And from here on out, it's just me embellishing. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.